So times have changed, but it's great to see the young people carrying on the tradition for their own future generations to practice what our great grandparents and ancestors did years ago. The knowledge they've passed on to us to bring forth to our generations are to honor them and then present what needs to be shared. Back then, whenever they lived in family camps, they lived a nomadic lifestyle going by seasons for where the animals were uh, um, available to them. And upon catching a seal, and this is uh, evident through the circumpolar Inuit Arctic regions, where a man caught a seal. To give thanks for the catch, they place some snow into the mouth and allow it to melt on its own, and then transfer it to the mouth of the seal. This way, they released the spirit and gave thanks to the gift, and then they were able to enjoy it with their family and the camps where they were situated. In the past, they went by the kayak uh, in the summertime and then in the winter by dog team. Hunting gear was also through harpoons or by using rocks to catch birds but today it's mainly rifles, but there's also men who still nipak, go to a seal hole and catch seals with their tools. So it varies across the Arctic, but it's still very admirable and a pride for us to see. We know that it's important for the younger generation and the future generations to be informed of how things changed from the uh, community camps to the community structures. All the elders know that they, they'd done it before and we should listen to them more. That's how we learn from the elders. I learned it from my father, from my dad. Uh, I learned it from my uncle, Uncle Jasakita. They don't teach, our parents, they don't teach us, do this, do that. We just learn by watching. I love them, I respect them, and um, I only hunt what I need. You take a student out, teach him how to hunt, teach him how to travel, navigate using snow drifts, the names of the land, how to skin, how to prepare meat for the community or for the family. If we want to go fishing a few days, we have to organize stuff. We need, we need more than 30 gallons to return gas. If we go to further south, even further north, we have to get food for four or five days. We sleep at the cabin. 
the men are hunting for seal and while the women are cleaning the uh, skins and all that and they're also fishing you know I go hunting seals and look for ptarmigans and rabbits. Mostly seal and fish, artichoke. Even caribou in summer. In summertime, people usually go hunting and go nowhere hunting. When nowhere has come, come by from the ocean way up there, they got really good mukta. Yeah. Plus, when you cook the heart, you boil it in salted water. It's really good with some meat. The water started to come up up here, so we don't actually eat them raw. We have to boil it. If I buy it food like from a store, and it's going to be a different taste. It's not going to last very long. I get hungry faster. If I eat seal, it's going to uh, last a very long time and it's going to be uh, even in winter time if I eat the meat, if I go out in the winter time, I'm not going to get cold faster because it has a blood in it, in that meat, in seal meat. Make sure you share, that's what we've been told to, you catch one, you share. We share a lot. When it's lots of uh, food, we let our relatives or friends come over and eat. We never eat alone. When I catch my seal, it's always going into my mom. My mom will clean it or my wife will clean it and dry it and make use of it. Make jacket, make gammocks, make mitts, or something with it, and it doesn't go on in waste. <laughs> When you listen to radio, other communities seeing a different fish, or either a different mosquito, or either a different bird that is arriving, Oh, Elder says, animals are going everywhere. And just like a people, they want to, if they want to go somewhere, they say they can go free. They're free. Birds that we used to have, but they didn't have them back then. That's pro they probably, you know, changing their um, route or because it's getting too warm here and so they going they're up. going up to the cold climate. Eighty miles from here, called the Clearwater Fjord. And first time I seen this big bird, they were making noise. I thought they were some time again or something. Next thing with a long neck and big wings and they were they said it was a crane. Crane crane. Yeah, there was one little bird that I've never seen. I think it was not not last year but the year before it was like yeah big it was it wasn't a snow bunting or a sandpiper. It was something different. Yeah, first time for us three years ago, maybe one fisherman caught a salmon on the lake on the winter. Uh, I went to the fish fish plant. Yeah. And they caught a catfish. 
A catfish? A catfish. That first time they caught it here. And uh, summertime we get lots of, uh, what you might call those now? Small fish. Sardines. Ah, sardines. Yes, sardines. Yes, we get them lots now. We never, until three years ago, they're everywhere now. These little insects that didn't used to, uh, you know, see here, now we're seeing more of them too. Uh, no one ever mentioned that there were dragonflies up here or like other ones. Like maybe we'll see more of them uh, as the climate keep on changing and uh, permafrost is melting and maybe uh, we'll see a lot more insects. And in the past 10 years, ice conditions have been different. What my grandpa or grandma or uncle said before that the ice was good till July. Sea ice is always different in a year like the weather do. Sometimes the sea ice goes away, it'll break up early, and sometimes doesn't at all. And the multi-year ice is getting more and all the time from north, it migrates down south. You have to cross it, try to make some road trail to go down, and it's getting more rough. Used to have nice and smooth uh, sea ice. There's so much flood out there now, you know, it's in southern Quebec or so. I, wow. We will, that will someday move up here too, you know. What if the uh, start to deteriorate or, you know, and uh, we'll have more of those landslides and all that. And that's my worry. Uh, we used to reach like minus 40, almost 50 below. Now we haven't seen that for a long time now. Some elders are saying warmer weather is coming up from up there. But the, the, the ones that have the real knowledge are saying the warm weather is coming from the ocean. You know, the, uh, the ocean is warming up and that's why the ice is never thicken up now. The sea ice seems to be taking a lot longer to freeze. When I was a kid, November would be on the ice, like the ocean. Now it's like December, a month late. That's why we uh, always studying is our ocean, our ocean creatures. Are they behaving? Are they not behaving the way they used to behave? You know, we're observing, you know, as of now.